Hey guys, welcome to Wicklet Fishing. Today we're going to show you how to do the basic maintenance and strip down of a spinning reel. First you're going to want to take your spool off. So unscrew the top right here. After you got that unscrewed, you're going to take your spool off. Like so. And set the, your main fishing reel aside. And take your end cap off. And that's your two basic parts right there. Now you want to get a paper towel to put all your materials on and you're going to want to wipe the inside of your spool out. That's where grease is for your drag washers and you're going to want to also clean out the inside of your spool on the underside. And then on your end cap you're going to want to clean out that because that also is a part where your drag system is. So you're going to want to wipe it down as much as you can on the inside here. And then you're going to turn it over and do the underside. And then you're going to do the same thing to your end cap. And this is where I use some of this real clean, real cleaner to take off the excess grease that's still on there. After that's all done, you're going to wipe off the excess real clean. And this real clean isn't a necessity, it just makes it easier to get all the extra oil off. Now you're going to want to clean off where your spool sits on. So you're going to get another paper towel and wipe it off first. And if you have real clean like I'm using, this is where it's gonna you're gonna spray it on your, your towel. And then you're gonna wipe off your spool. And now get a clean one and wipe it off to get all the excess real clean off. Then after that you have your spool, your end cap, and your main reel cleaned and now you're going to want to oil those parts. For this part I use this reel butter and it's a cleaning grease that I use on all my reels. And you're going to want to put a good amount on where your end cap screws on and then where your reel sits and then you're going to want to put some on here where your drag washers are and then you're going to want to put some also on the underside And then also on your end cap you're going to want to put just a little bit around the edges. And after that's done you're going to put it all back together. And you're going to screw it on all the way, all the way tight as you can. And then you're going to back it off to your preferences of where you want it to your drag to be but you're going to want to cinch it down first to work all the real grease in there and now back off until where you like it at
that's good for me right now. Now that you have your spool done, you're gonna wanna do where your bearings are, which is in here and underneath your spool, your, uh, your handle. So on mine, I just, you just have to unscrew this and take it off. And then since mine is a pin, real, you have to unscrew it. backwards and take it off and right there and on the other side there's a bearing and you're gonna want to take all your real oil off of there and add some new one so first you're gonna want to scrape off take off all the uh, excess oil that was left from before And then you're gonna wanna take a paper towel and spray some real clean on it. <clears throat> and rub it in there pretty good. And around the outside. And on the other side too. Now you take a dry paper towel and wipe off the excess. Now you're going to want to take your real butter and you're going to want to put it inside here a pretty good amount on both sides. And then also on your handle right here, you're going to want to take your real grease and put a bunch, a liberal amount onto the real handle where it screws in. So first I'm gonna screw the handle back on. I'm going to put the end cap back on. An extra step you could also do is take something like WD-40, which this isn't WD-40, it's just like it though. And you could spray it onto your paper towel. And wipe down your reel. And this will help with corrosion on top of your reel and on the spool. And then after it dries, it'll be like a waterproof barrier for your reel itself. But just don't try to get it on your line because it could hurt your line. I'm not sure on that part. But this is what I always do. And it really helps just beat off that salt water when it drops on your reel. Now you're gonna let that dry and then when you now it's all done and there's your reel clean. Nice and clean and oiled up and ready for next time when you go out and catch some more fish. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.